Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, Lemon Pest is somewhere around here, and we're back with some more Starfield Shattered Space. And we were on the hunt for Verik last time, so let us continue. Shoop! Aha ha! Okay, so something's got an issue. What's the issue? Is it you? Have you got a problem? Huh? What's your beef? Can I scan it? I can scan it. Okay. Is it this thing that's got the problem? I think it is, but... Oh, well... Now it doesn't have a problem. Okay. Yep. Why would they be hiding in the... Never mind. Never mind. Who cares? Alright, we need to follow the trail. Can I scan this thing before it did I? Okay. Alright. Whoa. You know, this penumbra is actually pretty bloody good. Can we just avoid doing this? I don't want to be killing the local wildlife. If I can avoid it. Go away. What do these give us? A sealant. Hey, I didn't know we'd get sealant from these. Awesome. Right. Oh. A rocky not to lose scavenger. Like a ba oh, okay. Like a bag of wind in the air. All right. <clears throat> Let's continue. <sighs> I said it last time and I'll say it again. If only the Rev 8 had four seats instead of two. Well, as we are um, moving around, I'm going to pick up some of this... Did I kill these? No, but I will take the, uh, take the goods off them. Why not? Why not? Didn't know those had seats. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Did I miss? Did I bloody well miss? There you are, mate. Have a bit of that. There you go. How do you feel? This penumbra is actually awesome. It really is. Oh, I miss. Bloody hell. If you hit things, it works better. They've got penumbras as well, unfortunately. But thankfully we're pretty quick off the... Okay. Ow. Not that was, but... It height! Look at these things. Ooh. They're just like... I don't know. Ugh, weird. Okay. Well, do you know what? Let's, um... Yep. Just reload while we're here. Yep, yep. And yep. Still not sure what the vortex shards can be used for, but I'm sure that a purpose will reveal itself at some point. Don't go playing in this, boys. It's very dangerous. Is there anybody? Ah, oh no. Wasn't there somebody over here that I shot? Or did he transport himself? Might have transported himself. Alright, never mind, never mind, never mind. Might as well harvest these bad boys. Get all the sealant, all the sealant. Love it. Sealant and adhesive, I believe, are the two. Sealant and adhesive. Oh, look at this. Um, what we're gonna do? Let's just, just, just. Um, this is. Let's just have a little look here. Here, yeah, what the hell is that? Okay, so there's some kind of creature up there. Okay. What is that? Is that a dead one? Dead one of those things? Looks like it. Okay. Should see what they know. Yeah. Question the farmers. Oh. Ugh. That's stinky. Okay. You know what? We can use the glands. Oh, that's that's a word, isn't it? Glands. What is this thing? What is it? What is it? Kid groat. Oh, all right. That's what it was. From a distance, it looked like something else, but never mind. Hello. Anyone about? Um. I'm looking for somebody. Irina's farm. Oh, hello. Warning. 
A stress-free environment for growth is essential okay. and will be enforced. Interference Ooh. with caregiving tasks will not be tolerated. Oh, I don't plan on interfering with your caregiving tasks. You look after the groats. I'm sure they're lovely. And I'm sure that they don't Please stink. Do not frighten the groats. What's up here? Is like an observation platform. Okay, bloody hell. Okay, I'm guessing she is in there, or the farmers are in there, but I just want to take a little peek around, just see, you know. It, it, ooh, hello. Uh, groat meat. Groat milk. Near a drag. Paste. Brilliant. Look at this. Big glass, like roof area? Can we get in this place? Oh, we can't look. Awesome. Hello. Come on, boys. What are you doing? So, what's this? Are they just growing stuff here? Ooh. Zen's computer. Who is Zen, I wonder? Casmir. Today we learned of a horrific event in Dazra. We were told the area around the scaled citadel has disappeared, leaving only a crater behind. That's almost half the city. Is Casimir safe? We haven't heard from him since he left. I can't sleep. Every inch of me wants to head directly to the city and find him, to know that he's okay. But what if it's not safe? Irina has done her best to offer what comfort she can, but I know she's desperate as well. It took all she had to tell Mila. I couldn't bring myself to speak. Oh dear. Greenhouse model A. I reprogrammed one of our groat bots to help me with the seedlings, and so far it's working quite well. There are a few bugs to work out, but at least it goes through the proper motions. Mila is quite happy since it reduces the amount of work she would have to do. She wants to name it, much like all the other bots and groats on the farm, but Irina reminded her of how attached she gets when she names things, and everything on this farm is fleeting. Mm -hmm. New season, new seeds. I started germinating this season's seeds. Hopefully the results will be as good as last season. Having fresh vegetables and greens on hand is so much better than packaged goods, not to mention how much the groats love the scraps as a treat. I'll have to get Miller to lend a hand this time. I think she'll, she'd like it. Yeah. Okay, so this is like a seed box. Please watch your step. I will. It is imperative that you do not disturb the soil. Okay. Um, well, enjoy your greenhouse, I suppose. Come on, boys. Oh, oh, okay, I nearly walked off the edge. Let's go in the house and, um, do you know what? Let's put away our weapon first, eh? That, that, that might be the better idea. Should, I think we should go in the front. Just, you know, manners. Oh, hello. That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? Ah, you're Irina. Um, hmm. We're looking for an injured young man that might have passed through here. Through here? Mm -hmm. You realise you're in the middle of nowhere. Um. <sighs> yeah, we know he came this way. I hate to inform you, but you're wasting your time. Am I though? The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. I mean, that's that's fair enough, but, you know... <sighs> yeah. His injuries might need special treatment. <sighs> All right, fine. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen. Yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner, they're just overly cautious. That's okay. As I said, we're isolated out here. We keep to ourselves. Hey, I get but it. But we did aid an injured young man a few days ago. Oh. That's gotta be very. It's too coincidental. It must have been him. I need to know where he went. We sent him north. North. Okay. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. Oh. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. He wanted 
to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own groats to get started. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Um. Uh, well, thank you for your help. You're welcome. And safe travels. Yeah. If you find him, give him our regards. I will. Well, weren't they nice? Um. Good luck finding that young man. Hey, no problem, uh, Mila. Okay. Um. Let me just. Yeah. Time to see what we've won. Okay, I didn't really mean to, to just bust in here, but, you know. What can I say? I, I'm just a, a looter by nature. Ah. Okay, well. Wasn't really much of any interest in there, but that's fine. Um, ah, who's seen me? Never mind. It's just our little peep. Certainly an interesting little place you've got here. Ooh, hello. I got in. Yep. Eh. Uh, it's got a decent value. They've both got decent values on them, really. You know. What the hell's that noise? Good God. All right. Stove. Wish I could get my bloody stove to work. The one in the uh, the Guardian. It seems a little bit screwed at the moment. Hopefully, I can fix it. All right. So this is kind of like their house. Would you say? Foul lab outfit. Okay, solvents. Yep. Okay. Anything else in here? Ooh. Hello. Do you know, honestly, sometimes I think, why do I bother taking the, um... Taking, like, the Neurojack and stuff? Because I don't use it, and I should use it, really. I should use it. I just don't. Right, well... Huh. Okay. So we went north. Oh. That way. Um, do you know what? Let's let's. We can do this, boys. We're going back up. Sorry. Okay. Yep. All right. There we go. Can we get up this way? Probably. Somehow. Yep. There you go. What's glowing here? Oh, it's a light. Oh, it's a path. Brilliant. 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 All right. Let's go. Let's rock and roll, Buckaroo, through this. Okay, yep. Come on. Come on. Yep. There you go. Yep. Skyrim our way up the side of the mountain thing. Okay, so this is where he is, is it? Huh. Okay. Come on, boys. Let's rock and roll, Buckaroo. Get down this place. State's Refuge. Alright, well. What's all this? Ugh, food. Rotting food, actually. Hello! Don't mind us. We're just, um. carrying out an inspection. There you go. Make sure it's all up to code. These ladders shouldn't be here. Um. Doesn't even care. Oof! Gate to the face. Okay. Uh, doesn't really. So that's the house. So what's in here then? Curiosity. It's like a garage. Oh, okay. Hello. A garage. Spice and water. Why not? Yep. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, decent value on it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Not even met this man and I'm just robbing him blind. But do you know what? All's fair in love and war. 
I am currently engaged in the completion of okay. my assigned task. Please do not interfere. I won't. So this is the little little groats houses. Okay, well. Stalls. Oh lemon pest, come on. Ooh, okay. Well this is yeah. Ooh. And what are you Marvelous. Ha! Ah. I mean not really much to find oh yes there is. Yes there is. Let's just have a look here. Yes, yes, uh ooh, decent value on it. Perfect. Give me all that sealant. Brilliant. Yes. Yes, yes. Take it all, take it all. Ah, another pack. I don't know if I can really be bothered carrying it. Nicholas Nickleby. Okay. Hmm. Guess we'd better head over to the house. Ooh, hello. Interesting. I've not seen any groats over at this farm yet, which is a bit weird to say. All right, so, oh, yes, I have. There we go. Hello. Hello, groaties. Don't mind me. Just can I can I come through? Thank you. All right. Uh, okay. Ooh, hello, cred stick. Thank you. Nothing in there. Ooh, zero wire reactive gauge. Ah, just the front door. Boys, what are you doing? No, I'm just going to shut this door. You know, I don't want the groats wandering in the house. Okay. Shower area. Alright. Ah, PC. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Bedroom. Not a fat lot in it by the looks of it. Yes, yes. And we are in. Yes, yes, and yes. Brilliant. My god. We are doing well here. Sandwich at the side of the bed. I mean, do you know what? I can respect that. Alright, so what's this? Vedix computer. Log entry 2. Today was a good day. I got up early, fed the groats. I think I'll name the female Bella, but not too sure on the male yet. I took account of the repairs needed and was at least able to get this old computer up and running. It gives me hope that may I may be able to fix up the Model A's that have been abandoned here. And to think I argued with my father over a need for engineering skills. If I ever hear news of Dazra returning to normal, perhaps I'll initiate contact with Tane again. A life far away from serpents and house politics, that's all I really want. But for now, isolated groat farmer is good enough. Okay, log entry three. Everything is catching up with me again. My father, what I've done, the people I've left behind. But most of all, I miss my sister. I never thought all I'd have left of her was a ring. I never thought I'd lose her, and now I'm dying to hear her voice, to have her reassure me that I have made the right decision. She's been my voice of reason for almost my entire life. She was always the one I could talk to about anything, no matter how big or small, or how much she may disagree with me. She should have been the one to take our father's place, not me. Log entry 4. Model A's are up and running! It should be a good day, but once again, I find myself riddled with guilt over what I've done. I keep replaying that last moment with my father over in my head. It's not even his words, it's the look of betrayal on his face. He responded with anger, but the blow I struck was deep. I told him I couldn't stand by and watch them destroy themselves, but I rejected everything he stands for. House Vathal, House Varun, and the Great Serpent. And of course, I knew full well what my actions would require him to do as head of the Ministry of State. I realise now the position of conflict I've put him in. The question remains whether he can let me go or if I'll one day wake up to Vathal Wardens at my door. Jeez, that's bloody hell. Well, alright. Huh. Hmm. So I do wonder. Is he actually going to be here, do you suppose? Dude! Are you in here? Hiding out? Ooh. Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Well, I'm sure you do, then. Not literally, though. I've got small feet. Yeah. Okay. you got small feet. Well, you know what they say about a man with small feet, don't you? 
small shoes. There you go. Well, I mean, is there any other anything else here that we can take a look at? Any kind of blood stains or footprints or something? Where's your master? Is he about? Hmm. Huh. Must be missing something here. Hmm. Okay. Aha! Verick's log, entry one. First entry of the first day of my new life, I hope. I suppose I'm a grope farmer now. A long way from air apparent, but I am thankful for the distance. Yes, quite a bit has happened since I last wrote. Tain never came, and I had to flee when Vortex horrors found me and attacked. Perhaps I have my father of all people to thank for those combat lessons he forced me through. Some kind farmers took me in and helped me, helped patch me up. They were respectful of my privacy and even pointed me here after telling them a version of my plight. Should my father send anyone after me, I can only hope my remaining anonymous keeps them safe. Lemon Pest, you are awfully close, mate, considering I've got a rifle in my hand. It was a little bit foolish. What if I'd have turned around out of shock and just shot you? You know? Or worse. Well, yeah. Okay. Dude, what are you doing? It's been a minute since I stretched the old legs. Yeah, all right. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? <sighs> yeah. Okay, there's a dude behind you. Only some logs, but Verrick is living here, and I think he's behind you. Never thought of Verrick as the dear diary type. Sounds like it's a waiting game, then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dane, put the gun down already. Yeah. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friend. Oh, calm down. Um, hmm. I'm Vindicator Eddie. There you go. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, Allow me to plead my case. Uh, well, do you know what? Yeah, I want to know your side of the story, dude. <sighs> I'm glad someone does for once. Can you put the pistol down? I'm not there sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. And you should have that, I, think. I was born House Vithal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State. To worship the great serpent. Uh -huh. But I want none of it. Um. <sighs> There's always a choice. With House of Ithal? Easier said than done. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride. And the fear of what it would mean for House Vithal is all he cares about. And in doing so, he's pushed you away, you know? What does your leaving mean for House Vithal? What does it mean? Shame. Embarrassment. Fuel for the other houses to ridicule my father. I don't want any of that for him, but he left me no choice. Well, that's it. If he would have listened just once... Maybe I could have left on good terms with my father's blessing. Control the narrative, as they like to say. Yeah. Well, I mean... He should be supportive. I mean, it's daft trying to push your kid into something that you want for them. You know, it's just silly. Let them live their own life. That's the issue. As far as my father's concerned, he's the most supportive parent out there. Giving me all the tools and teachings I need to inherit House Vital and assume the reins of the Ministry of State. I'm the ungrateful one. I'm the problem. Not him. All I want is to make my own life. 
Something Tain understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah, guess you got the whole scoop now. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. He did all this stuff and was like, oh yeah, I'll give you this to help you, you know, become the head of the house and all this jazz. But never asked you if you wanted the, the job. Never asked you if that's what you wanted out of your life. And that's just stupid. Um. Uh, well. Yeah, I understand the need to help a friend out of a bad situation. I was hoping you'd see it that way. Yeah, I get it. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Barrick running off thinking I could just grab him and go. Yeah. I was also out all the credits he was going to pay me. That's where you came in. Ah, I see. I figured, why not two for the price of one? What? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here. Okay, well, hmm. Yeah, why did you choose to leave now? What prompted it now? I suppose I owe you that much. Yeah. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. Oh dear. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. Damn. Um. Yeah. I don't know, I mean... I'll never understand those who value faith more than family. Yeah. I'll never understand religion, especially at extreme levels like this. Oh no, I understand religion entirely. You know. So long as you don't take it to extremes <laughs> like that. You know. I pray I'm not boring you. No, sorry dude, I'm just mulling things out. Um. Yeah, who value faith more than family, I think. Especially when that faith leads to hate. Yeah. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. Yeah. To start my own life. I get it. I totally. ask that you give me that chance. Hey, no problem. Um. Hmm. You're free to go, but I would ask for something in return. Anything. Name it. Your signet ring. He wants it as proof of your death. My ring? Mm hmm. Vasti gave it to me. I know. It's all I have left of her since the cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. I know, dude, but, you know. She would. She'd want you to live. Go and enjoy your life. Don't be tied down to this nonsense. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Yeah. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. Yeah. And now I hope we are done here. Yeah, we're Thank done. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Okay. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. Oh, well, yeah, don't worry. I'm just gonna tell him that I shot you. Just so you know. Look after your groats and you... I don't know. Get the man a drink, Jesus. Alright, come on Lemon Pest, let's uh, head back to... speak to Victor and... Um, yeah, see what he has to... That's to save yourself, you know? All right. I found something. I thought you should be the first to have it. Well, all right, what is it? It must be great to be able to see yourself whenever you want. <sighs> I bet your whole house is full of mirrors. We don't even have a house, Lemon Pest. Uh, do you have anything interesting for me? Here you are, a gift worthy of a true hero. 
Boom pop cherry. Being part of your crew is just the best. <sighs> Let's have a look at this ring before we give it back. Uh, would it be miscellaneous? Um, or maybe new items. Here we go. Uh, the ring, the ring. House Vathal signet ring. Oh. I mean, it's kind of plain Jane. But I'm not mad at it. At all. Alright. Here we go. Hello. Bloody hell. Brother. Huh. Alright. Sorry. You just kind of took me by surprise there. I just realised what I've done. gone the wrong way. Okay. Up we go. Dude, I have got some news about your kid. Oh, he does. I'm sure he does. Or she does. Whichever. Be mindful of your actions. Heresy and treason are one in the same. Are they? Oh, well. Cracky bobs. All right. Well, folks, have I got news for you. Let us speak. Yes? You're back. What news do you bring? Um... Uh, Veric answers to the Great Serpent now. A oh, one signet ring as requested. What have you done, Veric? This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. Um, hmm. Well... Yeah, you both knew this was coming. And I also told you to spare him. No, it was Verdict's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. You think you are doing what is right out of some blind dedication. But you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria. I will not hear any more of this. It is done. Leave us. Jolly oh, good. I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Luther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. Yeah. Um, hmm. Something tells me she is not getting over that. She will. She has duties to perform. You are just awful. Ultimately, I care nothing for what you think. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? No. Um... Kept it close to his chest and he told no one. Good. I also have heard nothing of my son's disappearance. So I appreciate your discretion in this matter. Not a problem. You restored order to this house and have my gratitude. Here, the access cord that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid. Well, thank God. Now go. I have much to arrange. All right. Victor may not C realize it now, but he will regret losing his son. He hasn't really lost him. I didn't kill him, just so you know. Uh, have you got a safe in here? No. Just, just thought I'd have a look. Where did she go, madam? Where'd she go? Is she in here? Blair? What? Oh. No. In here? I kind of want to see if I can tell her. Because if I can tell her, that'd be Since great. The incident full go, dedication yeah. is even more necessary. He isn't dead. He's just, um... He's living his own life. Is she out here? Where did she go? Where did she go? There she is. The very sight of you offends me. I wish only to be rid of you. Calm down. 
I have news that requires utmost secrecy. Great serpent, steal me. My heart beats with anticipation, and yet I fear to ask. Hmm. Yeah, I refuse to take a life over a family squabble. Ferric lives. You speak the truth. I do. Where is he? I must see him. No, no, you mustn't. Yeah, all I can tell you is he's alive. Nothing more. Understood. There you go. I always knew that Victor would drive him away. Varric often spoke to me of his own dreams and aspirations. And they never did include house politics. I think even Victor knew he was unhappy. But his pride only allowed him to see a boy that would follow in his footsteps. Uh huh. He's free to live his own life now. I should be happy for him for that alone. There you go. As much as I want to see his face, it is enough to know that Varric is alive and safe. Yep. You have brought me peace. Good. Thank you, Vindicator. No problem. There you go. We had to tell a lemon pest, you know. Should have only been worried. All right, so now we need to go and see Mr. Scientist. Can I just can I just plop off here? I suppose would that be agreeable? Not even okay. Gravity can stop Hurt a little bit, but I'm all right. No, well, nothing stops me, lemon pest. You know that. I know that. All right, let's uh, make our way back inside, and then. Um, yeah, what the hell is this? Is this something? Or nothing? No, it's nothing. Alright, let's go and see uh, our man, the scientist. And up we go, leather best. Oh. Herald's rest. I will have to go and speak to um, Tane shortly. But first of all, Icarus. Now that our calculations have been fine tuned, I Can I press this yet? I want to press it. Can I press it? Of success. All right. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? That he did. Eventually. Yes, the slate has the code on it. Ah, excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. But what's that going to do? Give me a moment to set up the grid. Well, what's it going to do, though? What's it going to do? What's it going to do? Inputting the access code. Can you, Lemapest, could you possibly step out of the way? Routing power. I think he's going to fire it. Or do something with it. <sighs> it oh. is done. Okay. So. Vindicator. Yes. Will you do us the honor? All right. Um, Lemapest. Okay, so. What do I do? Do I just... Do I just... Yeah? Oh, here we go. I'm going to hit the big red button. That's kind of poopy. In completing the morning device, but at least we may All right, here we go. All personnel to stations. Clear the platform. This one? Power grid interlink. Powering draft drive. Okay, look at this thing. Field projector. Standing by. Okay. What's, 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 what's going to happen? Oh, Jesus! Look at this thing! Stable. Holy! Looks a little rickety! Capacitors fully charged! All stations reporting. Ready to proceed with targeting. Oh. Okay. Oh, I do get to aim it. Alright. Targeting system. Engaged. Okay. So what are they planning to do here? What what what's this gonna be? Just in counterweights. Locking axial guilt. Device is in position. Okay. It's time. On your mark. Okay. Are you gonna hit the big red button? Okay. Well, three, two. One. Fire. Whoa. Oh, shell, the shell of the world. 
focus. Beam on target. Compensating for recoil. It is working. Steady. Okay. Oh no. Hold! We cannot fail the speaker now. Without the power. Burning up. Enough! Shut it down! Cutting power! Craft drive, cycling down. Damn. Turning to zero points. Well. Tracking stabilizers. Shut down complete. There. Well. Well done, all. Well done. It was a little anticlimactic. We have done all we can. I am sure the council is waiting to speak with you. <sighs> I'm sure they are, dude. Damn. All right. Well. Didn't really achieve much, but. It was fun to press the big red button. That's always fun. Okay. Uh, right. Well, first of all, let's go to the Herald's re Rest. Hello, you're kind of coming out in force. May the serpent guide you on your back. I'm sure he will. I'm sure all will be well. I'm hearing a I'm hearing a bonging. Bong. Is it like a call to church or something? Call to prayer? I don't know. Okay. You look a little bit casual. What are you doing? Just trying to survive one more day. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <sighs> ah, here busy. you are. Unless you lose your purpose as well as your home. We lost Damn. a lot of good people to the Vortex. <laughs> Glad we got that whole Varric business sorted. Yeah. Whole thing was starting to be a real pain in the ass. Uh-huh. Um... Were you close with Verrick? Yeah. Anyway, seeing as I don't have a ship, I'm kind of out of a job. So I was thinking, if you're looking for an extra hand, I got two. They both work well enough, I mean, for my age anyway. But fair warning, I can't do all that moving around and trying new things, stuff that the kids do. Because fact is, I'm retired. Not from work, but life. Well, hmm. Let's talk about this later. Yeah, works for me. I've got a lemon pest. And he, he works perfectly Great fine. Serpent. Granted, he's a little Please bit stupid and sometimes me. he does get in the way, but he runs around and he does look after me. Sorry, that woman was just having a bit of a breakdown there, wasn't she? And I was just commenting on men... On Lemon pests, you know. Abilities. Abilities. All must serve. True. Very true. All right. Well, do you know what? I fear that we... Oh, God's exchange. I don't think we've been up here much, have we? I'd like to have a little explore around here at some point, just to see, you know. What's up here? Anything of any interest? What? Oh, caution. Blocked off. Blocked off. What's this? Vacant house. They got a house here, though. We could live in this house. It's a little... It's a little little. But do you know what? I wonder if we can ever buy a house here. Would you like to live here, Lemon Pest? I don't know. Maybe. 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 But we will leave it there for today. Next time, we will go and speak to the council, tell them what happened with the old morning device, and go from there. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>